he's agitated, he's really like uh, not happy. Mm -hmm. Why is I, that? I see him from uh, see him from like you know like I'm standing in front of the bear or something but I don't think uh, I don't know if he can see me I don't know maybe he's like oh he's weak and I don't know if he's that old but he's weak and he's uh, not uh, not happy he's looking for food but there's no food and this the uh, ice now I see this ice thing and it's a uh, it's a small relatively small it's it's kind of big we would say but it's detached from the rest uh, of the the ice it's like a i don't know this polar bear is on top of it i don't know well he's uh, now he's going into the water i think he's trying to reach the shore I don't know if he's going to make it. And why are you here with this polar bear? I don't know. Something about endings. I hear because everything is ending. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? What is, uh, what is ending? The ice is melting. Oh, ice is melting. Bears are dying from lack of food and exhaustion. Why uh, is this happening? I see. Uh, I see like ice melting off of the ground, and like it starts to show the ground, and it starts to show like a debris, and. Uh, it's like disclosing, exposing the past. Mm -hmm. And there's, uh, I can see like a debris of, uh, like it looks like a, you know, like a bomb exploded and there are pieces of, like metal pieces of building or something all over the place. Mm -hmm. It's really, um, it's muddy, it's, it's like everything is being shown now in his, in its ugliness or something like that, I don't know. And why is this happening, the melting ice exposing the debris from the past? Was there a purpose? Or is this... Yeah, it says, I hear disclosure. Mm -hmm. That's what I hear, this word, disclosure. Disclosure of what? The past, the history, the real history. The real history. And all the secrets mm -hmm. uh, which were kept uh, from the humans. Mm -hmm. All the yeah. secrets which were like the, the history that uh, happened and it was covered up by, by uh, in this case, by the snow, but uh, truly it was covered up by other humans, sort of to say. Mm -hmm. it was, uh, all the secrets are coming out mm -hmm. because the earth is going to change It's, uh, it's going through a significant change. This change will last. It's going to be happening. I hear minimum 25 years. I don't know what I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm uh, talking about here. Like it's uh, something about uh, magnetic pole mm -hmm. changing its location. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's gonna create a lot of physical turmoil mm -hmm. on Earth. And uh, 
What is the purpose of the magnetic pole changing location? Uh, I hear that uh, this is something the Earth does every, I hear 25 to 26,000 years. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What kind of turmoil can we expect? And how can we navigate in these difficult times? Volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, floods, storms of unseen proportions. And I just see that there will be a lot of people dying and yeah, this looks kind of and I, I kind of like go uh, I don't know if this is uh, I mean, I don't know, I'm starting to like try to analyze this uh, I see also the fact that uh, something about that by the time that this happens there will be no really people here mm -hmm. uh, so when you say by the time that this happens does this mean that this isn't what we would call the distant future not in our lifetimes yeah that's not in this lifetime mm -hmm. so what do we need to know about this shift and this turmoil and the explosion of the history that has been hidden, covered up. So I see, uh, so the, uh, the history is going to be revealed uh, for those 25 years. Those secrets will be re re like, you know, exposed and be, they're going to be discovered and bring, brought to the light and to human knowledge and all of this. Mm -hmm. The other vision of uh, the magnetic pulse, which is not, that's, that's not within those 25 years now. And so what are some of those secrets that will be exposed and what do we need to know about it? And how will they become exposed? Because of the uh, light codes which are traveling to Earth and uh, affecting majority of the humans, mm -hmm. people will uh, be more open-minded and people will be more kind of living in that enlightenment. Mm -hmm. And once those uh, truths about uh, the origin of uh, humans and uh, the history, the true history will be step by step revealed. People will be accepting this. They not, uh, some of course will be having hard time because this is going to ruin all the re religions. Mm -hmm. This is gonna show that the religions are, there's some truth to it, but it has been manipulated and mis, put out to, to the people to mislead them, mm -hmm. to control them. And once people start to realize that they will free themselves mm -hmm. of all of this. And when this comes to light, is there going to be some kind of a counter attack to go against the exposure of all of this from the media or, uh, or whatever? There always, there always will be some such a thing, but uh, because of those downloads of the light downloads, people will not be able to be hypnotized and turned off mm -hmm. so easily like it was in the past. So that uh, will open people's eyes. And of course, there will be people who will be in uh, really 
big distress because of this realization, because of the realization that they were actually praying to all these entities which caused them harm. And uh, so these are real entities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about those entities that people pray to. Mm. Don't, um, I don't know if this is a time yet to be telling people about this. Everybody will come to this knowledge on their own. And uh, just um, if you want to, uh, like, have the understanding of this, you shall look at uh, how the mystical religions of uh, India and uh, the Native Americans, the Aboriginal. The point is to realize that all the legends in all these different religions are not religions, mm -hmm. that they are truth and that they're, uh, that you are the children of, not God, you are the children of uh, another race mm -hmm. who was just manipulating and playing and needing a slave. And that's why all these, uh, all these teachings, all these uh, legends, they have this element of uh, returning of this uh, of the the creators, and do not mistake in this with God. Imagine. A situation that you have a garden and you're planting all sorts of plants in this garden and you're bringing all sorts of animals to this garden and you're feeding them and you are controlling them and then you come to the realization that you can you don't you no longer have to have the strict control because this ecosystem is controlling itself. Mm -hmm. It's so well trained that you don't have to do this anymore. So you can move on to do other things, but the system will be still working because you put in the irrigation, because you put in a, a you know, feeding system, because you have, a, you designated a person to go and check on everything every so often and fix the the problems sort of to say so the system is going on it's like self or perpetuating it's it's just doing its thing but uh, we know that in every uh, Every process has its end and uh, it has to go into something else. And this is the time. And uh, those who participated in this experiment have to be here. They have to be here to resolve it, to end it. Mm -hmm. So they will come back Tell and me more energetically. About They're already here experiment of duality, mm -hmm. bringing the opposites together, seeing how this works, what's going to happen when you mix the energies, when you steer them up, 
it's like having a laboratory and you making experiments, improvements, see effects. It's the same thing. It's uh, this is what happened on this uh, on this planet, and um, this experiment involves uh, the duality, and uh, by duality you bringing the contrast of uh, the light and the darkness and you have everything and you can experience everything you you wish in the spectrum of the light and in the spectrum of the darkness and they always are intertwined and you always have to find use your own discernment and find the right path and sometimes you'll be walking into the wrong door sort of to say but this experiment is going oh, towards the end it's being it's pretty much it's being over and uh, that's why the downloads are being sent with the codes so people are waking up mm -hmm. seeing more and more by seeing more and more making the right decisions not to participate in this uh, game anymore and opening themselves up to that higher consciousness, to the energy of uh, more wisdom, more higher vibrations. And once uh, this whole planet moves into that higher vibration, th this, uh, this whole new process will start where uh, people will be still experiencing some of the duality but not in such a harsh way and they will be able to manifest much faster mm -hmm. and uh, they will be able to think and do things from the heart meaning they'll no longer be situations where one person sacrifices everything and everyone around them because of fear towards something. They will be able to use their own judgment and get themselves out of that situation sooner and understand the lessons sooner and uh, Just everything will be on the on the much positive uh, level. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to explain because you will have a lot of nuances, a lot of uh, ups and downs as well. But uh, once you able to jump on this train, sort of to say, of that train of that. Uh, higher uh, energy, higher vibration is just gonna be so much more smooth for everybody involved. Imagine you have a, uh, you bought a piece of land and you wanna build a house on it, but there is uh, a lot of uh, invasive plants on this, uh, piece of land and you have to till the ground and get rid of all of this. This is a lot of work, but it's uh, it's doable. And that's uh, this is what we're doing. This is we we are uh, step by step making this planet higher vibrational. Could you tell us what those entities that people have been praying to, how they harm people? Well, they harm people by uh, using them as slaves because mm -hmm. they were uh, there for uh, different forms of slavery. What is it that they make people do? 
there's layers of uh, kind of like these uh, energies, entities, I don't know how to say that. And uh, some of them uh, try to keep people in negative state of mind mm -hmm. because they uh, this way they are allowed, they are um, able to drain these people's energy. And uh, everybody went through this on this earth. Mm -hmm. Everybody participated in this, either knowingly or unknowingly, because this is uh, this is just how it goes on this planet, where you are uh, you either help with your energy to uplift somebody, or you are. Uh, bringing somebody down with your energy. And when you bring somebody down with your energy, you are being that, uh, you're trying to hook up to their energy system and uh, take the positive energies out of them that, uh, so they come, they kind of lower themselves to your level and you weaken them this way. Many, this is this is like very common. This is happening every single day to many people, and it's in families, in institutions. This is everywhere, and uh, this one is the one of the uh, most prevalent and uh, the hardest to deal with. And then there are other uh, on a much higher level. These are the creators who have much bigger knowledge and they are um, needing resources from this planet, material resources. And uh, this is being done by using pretty much slaves. We're talking about uh, like gold and especially gold. Are these resources also, do they also come in the form of negative energy? Oh yeah, that's the, uh, that the, that's the negative uh, thinking, the draining of uh, energy of others, depressive moods, aggression, all of this is stimulated. Uh, if a human uh, is in that issues with anger, for example, all these uh, little entities, creatures, energies who are attracted to that type of uh, energy are like hanging out around this person and uh, trying to build up momentum so they can uh, experience that energy and uh, feed themselves off of it. But uh, people are uh, being uh, better and better and already focusing on the heart, focusing on this positive aspect of everything. So uh, yeah, like I said, this, this cycle is, uh, I mean, it's, the cycle is over. The cycle is officially over. It's been over since 2012, but it's taking that long to do that change. It's a physical change within the heart of each human being. And the, the nature is feeling it uh, much faster than humans, of course. But, uh, yeah. We tend to think that religions have been either designed by humans or manipulated. Is that the case or have some of the religions or all of them been designed by these entities? Well, um, the religions are uh, to manipulate people to take the power away from them. That's why the religions are there. And, and each region. 
wanting to manipulate? Is it these entities or is it other humans? These are the 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 creators, sort of to say. They uh, because when the masses are not aware, where the masses are just you know functioning in this. They're the most productive. Mm -hmm. They're uh, they're uh, oblivious to their to the uh, to the uh, importance of their emotions. They get out of balance really easily. They uh, give their power away to others. They give the power away to to their gods to that. Uh, superpower which is they they think it's outside of themselves and this is this is the biggest lie which was programmed in humans that they are dependent on some third like a entity like a god or something like no you have all of this within yourself you have you are a mix of the genetics of the gods, sort of, so you call. So you have that within you. They just don't want you to know it because if you realize that, you start to be powerful and you start to heal yourself. You expand the lifespan of your lives. You start to make better decisions. Your life becomes better. You start to be creating on your own you don't need to ask for permission and that's what those those who enslaved you at the first place they don't want that that's not their their agenda and uh, the understanding there's different religions everywhere because there were different uh, entities sort of to say space people arrive to the earth in different locations especially locations where there was a lot of gold accessible easily accessible and they created this uh, this idea of religion mm -hmm. because they wanted the, the just so uh, if you have people who are uh, with their free will giving away everything they have to you there's no bigger power mm -hmm. so that was quite easy but people were waking up and uh, bringing all this uh, secret knowledge opening people's eyes and ears and minds this has been going on for long time this isn't just so uh, the last 50 years this is more like the last hundred years this change has been happening and we have been sending messages through channeled information and uh, those with uh, the ears to hear and the eyes to see will notice that and hear it. And those who are not ready won't. But there's nothing wrong with that. It's just they will come to their time. And when you speak of the creators that have brought religion to mankind in order for them to have an attitude of servitude and be easy slaves. Are these the creators of this experiment on Earth, the experiment in duality, or is it something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are the creators. And uh, their lifespan is much longer than yours. Mm -hmm. Your lifespan. Compared, compared to their lifespan is like like being a fly. Mm -hmm. You are the fly. You live so short. You don't have enough time in your life to realize the truth. 
and that's another uh, that is another trap. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be this way. So now, by activating all these light workers, all these people with open hearts and open minds, we are creating a net of light, which is lifting the whole earth is lifting the whole earth into a higher uh, understanding so this is uh, this is all uh, this is all good this is all good changes that experiment of uh, duality is uh, fading away that's the best way of saying it it's fading away and once you uh, once you see this, you will start noticing around you in your private life how certain things are dissolving on their own almost. So this is the magic of it. Just let it happen. Very good. And who have we been speaking to? Joanna's higher self. Very good. Do you have any more advice for her? Be patient with yourself and know that all is well. Everything is okay. You are protected and guided. And that's it for today. I think this is really interesting. <laughs> that is really interesting. And I'm like, where is this information coming from? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, it's like we, we have been um, blocked. And, and like you said, um, maybe this is too much information like for the human body. I think body so at or, once and, and you would yeah, go crazy. Uh, like uh, also mentally, like you will. Yeah, the mind is only... Yeah. You know, it's certain you're not capacity tell a, of a three year old how to uh, do open heart surgery. To co yeah, like there's no point yeah. even because the mind wouldn't absorb it, you know, and for that exactly to translate it in such a way that we can kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, some of sometimes they just flat out tell you, like, yeah, this is not the time to tell you, or this is uh, you wouldn't understand, or you know, yeah, yeah. don't need to yeah, understand, yeah. so yeah, yeah. Oh, did you hear I was uh, in Polish? Yo, yo, to you. <laughs>